Hello and welcome to our summary of the play She Stoops to Conquer by Oliver Goldsmith. This second part will look at the play's key characters, themes, as well as interesting symbols to be aware of, particularly if you're studying this play for your courseworks or examinations. And make sure you do check out first, the first part of this video summary where we examine context as well as information about the playwright himself. Now, when it comes to the key characters to be aware of, the first is Marlowe. We learn that he is scared of speaking to modest women, but he is very lively when he's around lower class women like the barmaids. He's a very respectable man, but he acts rudely at first to Hardcastle, thinking he is an inn owner and not his father's friend. The Hardcastles are other important characters to be aware of. So Mr Hardcastle owns a large estate and he values the simplicity of country living. This is important when you're considering the decisions that he makes. In addition, his wife, Mrs. Hardcastle, will learn that she's the opposite of him. She's a vain woman. She praises her son, Tony, and wants him to marry her niece. And this is all because she wishes to keep up appearances. Kate Hardcastle is the other important character to be aware of. She's the heroine of the play, or in other words, the protagonist of the play. And she values both the regal town life as well as the more relaxed country life that her parents have adopted. She disguises herself as a barmaid to see what Marlowe's character is really like. And she does learn that he can be quite snobbish. And she's the reason for the play's name, She Stoops to Conquer. In other words, the play means that Kate stoops to a lower class in order to conquer the man that she is interested in. Tony Lumpkin is another key character. He's Mrs Hardcastle's son from a different marriage and he enjoys drinking, playing jokes on others as well as being very hedonistic. In other words, it means he really just enjoys himself. We learn that he's really a kind person in spite of all of these flaws. Constance and Hastings are other important characters. So Constance Neville is Mrs Hardcastle's niece and she's an orphan and has an inheritance of jewels to her name, which makes her an interesting character, particularly for the upper class men, the gentlemen who wish to marry well. She's in love with Hastings, who's a friend of Marlowe's, and he doesn't care about Constance's money. In terms of the themes, the first is class and this pervades the entire play. So the characters in this play are very obsessed with class and Marlowe must hide his like for the lower class because it would be very shameful for people to know that he actually enjoys being around lower class company. Hastings and Marlowe act very differently towards Mr Hardcastle when they think he's a lower class innkeeper. They don't treat him very well, which shows how two-faced they are. However, this changes once they discover who he really is. He's an upper class gentleman. Money is another important theme, which is very closely tied to class. And just as how the characters are very worried about class, they obsess about money. So Constant won't marry Hastings and run away because she wants her inheritance. And when Marlowe thinks Kate is poor, he will not ask her to marry him. Deceit and trickery are another important set of themes. So there are a number of tricks in this play. Tony tricks Marlowe and Hastings into thinking that Hardcastle is an innkeeper. He then tricks his mother by driving her and Constance in circles. And the trickery in this place serves to be very comical in some ways, but it also says a lot about other themes like class. In other words, we learn about the true characters of these people once they're tricked. Being tricked into thinking some characters are a different class than they are reveals to other characters just how superficial they really are when it comes to class. In terms of analysis, the main symbol is clothing. So the character's clothing indicates the class and status. For instance, Kate uses clothing to essentially change her social standing. So she dresses as a barmaid to trick others into assuming that she's of a working class. And Mr Hardcastle likes dressing in an old fashioned way. And this is part of what makes Marlowe think he's lower class and he treats him with disdain as a result. And clothing symbolizes how we superficially judge others on first sight. So that's all. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more revision videos and resources, particularly useful when you are studying either this or several other texts as part of your English GCSEs or A-levels. Thank you so much for listening.